So after this morning's slew of UI updates and aesthetic changes, there have been a lot of confusion surrounding a simple graphical change to Spectre Tenebria. So let me be clear on this. This change will have zero impact on units like Landy, Rimuru, and Sharoon. When a buff emblem is gold in color, then it's not really considered a buff to any other mechanic in the game. It's considered a visual representation of a skill or passive. This is true in every case in the game. This Mercedes skill does not trigger Rimuru. Her unique buff does not count towards Landy's stacks. In PvE, CM Rin cannot steal the counter buff from this boss, and it does not trigger Rimuru's passive, nor can Rimuru copy it. Trust me, I tried. There are mobs who get a stealable or copyable version of the counter buff. That does exist, but those buffs are not the gold emblem looking buff. They are the standard blue buffs. The gold ones are once again not considered buffs by the game. They're just a way to show a passive or skill exists on the unit. Also, I want to note that this is for normal arena, not RTA. The RTA season is not even halfway over yet, so relax, you've got plenty of time to get to Masters for your skin. And on a final note, if you've got 40 coins and you don't somehow have Conqueror Lilius or Spectre Tenebria yet, now's your time to get them. Smilegate's decided they should be in the coin shop again, instead of Lionheart Sermia and Pirate Flan, who I've been predicting since January. So, I guess Smilegate just doesn't want me to get a Pirate Captain Flan from the coin shop. Sag. Anyway, I hope this video helps out. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. And as always, like and subscribe. Have a good one, everybody.